Hello nature buddies, welcome to Lights Nature TV. This is your Manang Luz. Today is Alocasia Care Day. I'm going to introduce to you my alocasias. This is my alocasia Corazon Aquino. It is also known as Scalprum. Look at the veins. It's quite like silver in color. And underneath, look at the color. Purple. It is also a baby leaf. It is about to unfurl. This one is my Friday alocasia. It is still a baby. Look at the leaf. It's so velvety. It has also a new leaf and is about to unfurl. Alocasia Friday. This one is a baby Alocasia Zebrina, but it has only one leaf. And it is a flower about to bloom. I think it has seeds inside. And when it is already old enough. Uh -oh. Then we can produce more baby alocasia zebrina with these seeds. As of now, it is only one leaf. Alocasia. This one is my alocasia black velvet. Look at her. She's a beauty. She has so many leaves. this one leaf it has a hole on it maybe this was damaged because I put it outside and it was eaten by grasshoppers also this one I just leave it alone It is to prove that it's not plastic, it's real. Alocasia Black Velvet. True to its name, it has velvety feel. I have also small propagations of my black velvet allocation. I think they are thriving well here inside. Okay. Those are some of my baby allocations.
me my biggest alocasia as at this time. This is my alocasia Sudo Sandriana. Look at her. The first time I got her, she has only one leaf. And now look at her. She has the seven leaves. One leaf is turning yellow. And I'm going to snip this one maybe after this vlog because nutrients will not go to the other leaves if this yellowish leaf will be left alone. So I'm going to snip this off so that nutrients will be enjoyed by the other leaves. Look at the underside. It looks so fragile, but never mind, it can support itself. A pseudo-sandriana. 